Humboldt's families to this week's Sunday story time. Get ready to mark your calendars with this week's news and coming events, which will be followed by a new story for the week. Can't wait to find out what it is. And the final segment will be our Mindful Minute with Mrs. Papa. Stay tuned. In this week's events at Baltz, every Tuesday, the printed packets for each grade level will be available at each meal distribution site. There will be plenty of copies going forward so that every Tuesday, families can pick up the packet at meal distribution sites. Los paquetes de aprendizaje se pueden recoger en los sitios de distribución de comida el martes de 10 y media a una. Welcome, Baltz families, to another episode of Sunday Storytime. My name is John, and I am your lunch lady. Tonight, I will be reading the story of Ferdinand the Bull. So let's get started. Once upon a time in Madrid, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls would walk around and snort and spike themselves and butt their heads, but not Ferdinand. He liked just to sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture underneath a cork tree. It was his favorite place and he would sit in the shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, she let him just sit there and be happy. She said, why don't you go and play with the other bulls? And he said, I just want to sit here and be happy and smell the flowers. So she let him. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day long. They would butt each other and stick their horns at each other. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked just to sit quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day five men came from Madrid with funny hats and they were here to pick the toughest, fastest, biggest bull to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around butting each other and snorting and leaping and jumping, so the men would pick them to be the very best. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care, so he went out to his favorite spot underneath the cork tree. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on a nice, cool, grassy spot, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him, and that's just what the bee did to Ferdinand. Wow! Did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting and jumping and pawing the ground like he was crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest, fiercest bull, just the one bull to fight in Madrid. So they took him away in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. First came the bandoleros, with long sharp pins and ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadoras, who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Finally came 
the matador with his shiny red cape and his sword. And he was there to stick it into the bull and make him even madder. And he wanted to look exquisite. Then came the bull. <laughs> and you know who that was? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce. And all the bandoleros were afraid of him. And the picadors were afraid of him. And the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran into the middle of the ring. Everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and the, and the stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he just sat down, saw all the lovely ladies with the flowers in their hair and smelled them. So they had to take Ferdinand back home which was just fine with him. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. Well, thank you for watching and don't forget to tune in next week for another episode of Sunday Storytime. Good night from Lunch Lady John and I'll see you at lunch. Hey guys, it's Miss Persani. We here at Balt hope you are enjoying our weekly Sunday Storytime episodes as much as we are. We are having a blast reading to you and your families. We would love to see how you and your families watch us. Do you snuggle in bed with your iPad or iPhone? Do you watch it on your TVs and huddle all up on the couch? Send us your pictures to air on future upcoming episodes of Sunday Storytime. Also, do you have any favorite stories or favorite Mindful Minute techniques that you have heard or tried? Email us and let us know at BaltzSundaystoryTime at gmail.com and tell us about it. We can't wait to hear from you. Thanks for watching and don't forget, you rock! our video is about the importance of staying calm and peaceful. Well, when troubled times happen, that can change how we feel, but we've learned to do things to control our feelings inside. Pretend that this is our mind and our feelings, and I'm going to fill it with beautiful, clear, wonderful, calm feelings. There we go. When you are feeling calm and peaceful, it's like the clear water in this bowl. When we do our best learning, when we are our best selves, when we make good choices, we are feeling calm and peaceful. But we know troubled times can happen and troubled times happen even for kids. So I'm gonna reach in here and pull out a troubled time. Yelling is the first troubled time. Maybe you yell at other people, maybe other people yell at you. I'm gonna slip this troubled time into our calm, clear feelings. If you notice, our clear mind begins to get a little bit cloudy. Now, I'm going to pull out another troubled time that you might be experiencing right now. We're all experiencing it illness. Sometimes we worry about getting sick. Sometimes we worry about people who are sick and sometimes we're sick ourselves. Wow. Our clear mind is starting to become a little crowded with troubled times. The next troubled time that I'd like to talk about is separation. This is something that we're all experiencing right now. We're separated from our classmates, we're separated from our teachers. We may even be separated from people that we love. Oh, 
here's a big one that we all might be experiencing, worry. Sometimes we worry about bad things that might happen. That's a big one. Mm, here's something else that we all are probably experiencing sometimes, boredom. Boredom is when you don't have anything to do. And our last trouble time is learning. Maybe you're having trouble learning while you're separated from your teacher. Wow, look at our mind now. It's filled with rocks and yucky feelings. Would you want your mind to stay like this? You have a choice. When you're feeling and your mind is filled with yucky thoughts and rocks, you can choose to stay that way or you can choose to do something to help yourself feel better. Now, we've learned some things throughout the year that can help yourself feel better. We've learned to take deep breaths. We've learned to use an iMessage to talk it out with other people. You simply make a sentence and fill in the blanks. I feel blank when blank. We've also learned to think good thoughts. Even if I blank, I can blank. You just fill in those blanks. So, let's take a deep breath. Taking a deep breath can always help you feel calm. Now we're gonna practice talk it out and thinking good thoughts to help calm down our troubled mind. Learning. I feel frustrated when I have trouble learning. Even if I'm frustrated, I can ask for help. Boredom. I feel lonely when I'm bored. Even if I'm lonely, I can read a book, write a letter to someone, watch a YouTube video. I could even try to make a YouTube video. I could try to do something I didn't think I could do. Yelling. I feel scared when there's yelling. Even if I'm scared, I can try to stay calm. I can take deep breaths. I can talk it out. I can think good thoughts. Separation. I feel sad when I'm separated from my classmates and my teacher. Even if I'm sad, I can try to connect with my teacher every day. Even if I'm sad, I can join my class Facebook page. I can post a picture of myself. I can write a message to a classmate. Worry. I feel nervous when I'm worried. Even if I'm nervous, I can tell myself that everything's going to be okay and things will get back to normal soon. Illness. I feel scared when there's illness. Even though there's illness, I know that there are helping people trying to make everyone feel better. Even though there's illness, I can wash my hands every day, lots of times a day. Even if there's illness, I can make a card that might help someone feel better. Wow, we used deep breaths, we talked it out, we thought good things, and our mind is back to feeling clear and calm. Now, you may have noticed that when troubled times were coming into our mind, some of our water, our feelings, spilled over. So you might be thinking, when I have troubled times and I lose some of my positive feelings, do they go away and never come back? Nope, that's not true. When you do things to help yourself feel better and you choose a coping tool, you actually get stronger. Remember, 
to be our best, to be the best people that we can be, we have to work really hard to be clear-minded and feeling fine. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Miss Persani. Don't forget to like and share this video. And also, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, you rock.